Welcome back guys, and today I have here a new launcher for your Retroid Pocket 2 Plus that's called Daji Show. And remember, hit the like, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to leave a comment, so that's gonna help the channel a lot. The Daji Show is a Retroid Pocket 2 Plus launcher that I found on Reddit. The guy who's making, he have uh, links, and I'm gonna leave that on the description. So go into the description and you can download that. Look how beautiful it is. I love this launcher and work really good. You need to do some stuff to have it working But let me show how it perform on retried pocket 2 plus how it's go You know, it's so easy to find this stuff. You have highlights on top so you can find the game is your favorite So you can start the game and after that you're gonna have that Separate here on this screen so you don't need to look on the list like uh, for that people who have a lot of games like I have and uh, here when you go into the launch you can s select okay if you you know that's gonna launch in really the retro arc and uh, here you we can see the core working on the retro arc this is the version the not 64 I downloaded that from the app and you know from the store for the app store and uh, you can do that the I, I think it's play store yeah play store for Android and you can download the 32 version of RetroArch, so make it easy on the perks. I have both. I have the 64 and 32 versions installed on it, and that make my life more easy because some launchers doesn't work with the 64 bits version. So that's that's why I have the two versions installed on my Retroid Pocket 2 Plus, and the emulation looks perfect. You know that's it, it's inside the RetroArch. It's not with the launch anymore, and here we can see the launch launching back after you launch a game you have continue on top so you can open the do apps is going to be show here on this screen you can see all the apps and here we have a settings for that who you know if you want to set up your thing and make it look like you want you can change a lot of stuff you can put like dark mode you can change too many stuff and personalize like your style so that's the place for the custom settings and if you want to go to the telegram so you can talk to the people who make this and uh, for the people who is trying to learn how using this they gonna find links like this one this is for the page for a Pegasus launcher this launcher is working with the Pegasus setting so you can download that make more easy so you don't need to set up like a, a small things so you can come to this website that I'm gonna leave on the description like I said before and you're gonna find the link so you can create like me I'm gonna do one with you guys I have a system I didn't put it all right on my launcher so here we have Game Boy. So after that, you're going up to the website, clicking download. So I have download so many files like this. So I'm gonna have some on my folder, the download folder. And now I'm gonna open for MX file stuff. And it's the same thing that's it's already on every Retroid. It's the default program. So here we can try to find. And like I said, I have many of that. So I, you can look for the day you have here, the just now, this is the file metadata the number three. So open it and go to the top. You're gonna find the fi file tape that's gonna be supported by the launch. So you can add the zip at the end. I don't know why that's not, you know, already implemented on the launcher, but you need to do that by yourself. So here is a small tutorial how you can have that done and uh, you can download and have all your stuff working. Just put a zip, save, close. And after that, you need to bring up the launcher again, the Daji Show. And here you going to import. So here from import from Pegasus, you're gonna take uh, to download folder. Here open my master system. So, okay, now we have the download folder. This is the first file, so just select the first file because the recent one, and now you have a list. So go here to inspect, and that uh, red X, you need to make that visible. So that's gonna show at the front end, you know, when you start and have the system to go and select. And I'm gonna delete because it's too many things here, it's gonna be bigger 
on the screen the name so i'm gonna put only game boy and here i'm gonna leave with gba there is no problem to have that done and anyway it's gonna launch in gba games but i'm not gonna scan that so here we can scrap the games just type nintendo and uh, after that you can click on the down button so it's gonna hide the keyboard and after that you have a pick list on the right side just try to find Game Boy and now you need to click on the plus so you need to do that you need to click to add after select on the list and save it you can change the you know for the screen settings for a custom and put the tile at the size you want I'm gonna keep it one by one and here we have now down there where you know it's uh, at the bottom where you can see here arcade game boy and now i have a white screen to remove that and have the properly screen like the other systems i have i'm gonna open the google chrome and now at the google chrome i'm gonna pick a new tab or a i have a tab already so let me try to find ah okay i have one I download the for the sega and now here i'm gonna oh just to keep wallpaper and uh, Game Boy now. I'm gonna pick one picture, any picture, and show you guys how to set up that. And um, how better we can go with this. Okay, uh, this is enough. Let me pick this one, the blue one with the Game Boy. Just for now, I'm gonna try to find one more, you know, like close to the others I have. And here we can click on the pencil and just select the picture for the background and uh, after you select that save it and now you need to add the folder for your runs you click on the plus sign let me show again is the plus sign right near to the pencil and clicking add so that's gonna bring uh, the files explorer just i have that on my download folder and here we have uh, uh where is G game gbc yeah gbc is right there so i'm gonna pick gbc and now i'm gonna pick the USA rounds because I have too many rounds like a rack rack ones and here are the USA I'm gonna select and finish after that just click on sync touch on sync your choice if you want to use the touch screen just touch on it or no if you can click on the a button put on the sync and that after find like all your rounds now it's gonna scrap for the pictures i'm not gonna wait for that because it's gonna take a while you guys already know for that who have uh retroids and uh, that's download look like one hour for finish and here we're gonna run and if you are the first time you have a black screen don't be scared just close it go to you know you can minimize that so after that i'm gonna open the retro retro arc the the 64 no the 32 version and now i'm gonna download the core so where is okay main menu come to online updater and now you can core, core download and go to find the nintendo mgba that was selected on the pegasus website so look for the core you need and after that just install it and when you finish that you can close your retroarch and back to the launcher okay and let me close it and now back to the launcher click on play and again you can click ok or cancel doesn't matter and here we have the game launcher properly and that's gonna work for all the games and all the cores you want to add and that's really good for us because uh, you know the standard one don't have too many systems and don't look beautiful like this one i really love the way this launcher is working right now and the retro edge or the retroid pocket 2 plus is really good but we have too many problems with the company so please hit the like subscribe to the channel and share that with your friends you're gonna help me a lot and i'm gonna keep bringing news for you guys look at how beautiful is this launcher so if you want to give it a try i'm gonna leave the links in the description like i said just install it and you're gonna enjoy your really good launcher i have nothing to complain right now just i'm gonna need to put the zip or rare you know depending on the kind of files you have for 
Mario or Retroid, but look like uh, we have no update yet for the system. I'm waiting for the new update of Retroid Pocket 2 Plus, and they still send a message like they will finish it this week, but the update never came. So guys, when I have the update or any notes, I'm gonna bring it to you guys, and thank you. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.